Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So today what we're going to be working on is basically getting some of this plants crops like fully planted and I think we're working on um, demolishing the church. We got that all done. Now we can start building it. So we'll be doing that today. We'll start be we'll like start planning it out and stuff like that. We got a whole bunch of wood here so we can actually start working on that and um not sure what kind of materials that we're going to be building it out of just yet not sure what we actually have um just looking to see if we have bricks like the stone blocks doesn't look like we have any that's not where i'm seeing them Yeah, I don't know if we have any uh, left or not, but uh, we we'll, might have to make some up. I'm going to just check the materials quickly. Manufactured. We have 117. I'm not sure where they're storing it, though. Huh. Okay. Um, trying to remember. Oh, you know what? They're probably storing it in here. Yeah, so we'll uh, remove that. Um thing here and we'll just get them to stockpile it over here instead not too worried about the um, wood basically getting damaged because of the weather or anything like that it's going to happen we have all our storage basically filled up so uh, if we start building though it should be fine uh, we'll go ahead to manufacture we'll set that all right, so church plans. Let's see here. Um, I wanted to leave at least four blocks on this side to basically, or maybe five, maybe five, and that will give us some padding for the church itself and allow us to have um, trees and stuff planted here for decoration. So that's at least the goal that I want to provide. So I'm going to just create a default stockpile and I'm just going to go ahead and bring that up to five here just so we know what we're dealing with and I can just even expand that all the way down just so we know that's like a no build zone and that leaves uh, this part over here so we can start building on that part I guess. Auto save. So we'll just wait for that.
All right, so uh, there's something that's going on. I haven't noticed that this is a thing, but the heresy of the rose is basically going to invade us if we don't do a uh, trade, like give them resources and stuff, which is something completely new. I knew that bandits could do that, but I didn't think other factions could. So we'll have to uh, send somebody over there and negotiate, I guess. Uh, I'll send our bard over because they need um what do you call it uh what what's their skill level 19 so hopefully we'll be able to do that we'll get a fairly decent price but we'll go ahead and check that out and um of course they had to build all the way on that side of the <laughs> thing all right so they're going over to no shade we have uh one day and two hours and 23 minutes to do that so um hopefully we can give them what they want or something i don't know I, i've only done it once on another save and that was for another person so i'm not sure what it would be like for just a random thing like this but we'll check it out and see what comes up like how they're just in the forest here <clears throat> All right, so we'll decide to give them an offer. Okay, what what are they looking for? A th one one thousand Jesus. All right. Um. Let's see what we can give them. Got some armor. That's not really. That good for product. Uh, they don't want any of those resources. I could probably go with barley. I do still have a stock for them. I was going to trade that, but I mean, giving the circumstances. Well, we can get away with like maybe a thousand barley for that. We'll save the rest for what we have. Uh, we got some beeswax. We need that for the church, though. Uh, let's see here. What else do we got? Some cattle. Uh, still pretty short on a lot of it. Um, we should have. Yeah, we have this.
All right, so we have a merchant now. And it's kind of funny because I just paid ransom for the Heresy of the Rose and now they're sending a merchant in. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because we have 60 in align alignment with them now. So, I mean, that's great and all, but <laughs> we have nothing else to trade. I mean, we would have, but I mean, they could have just sent a merchant in. That would have been more reasonable. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can't send them over and see what they're selling and stuff. I'm not sure if they're s selling any bricks. Looks like just wine and some stuff or some sort of liquor. We do need to build a better market eventually too. I wouldn't mind um, maybe tearing down the chicken pen, expanding the market a little bit. And maybe moving the chicken pen somewhere over here. I don't know. I'm th I'll think on it because I'm not sure what I want to do with it just yet. But um, we have the cattle here, which is great. Uh, might even move the cattle or the donkeys over to this one because we usually send out our donkeys instead. And then that's right near the, um, the gate here and they don't have to travel that far. But... We'll see what we can come up with. All right, so what do you guys have? Um, let's just sort by price. Okay, so they don't really have too much. They have some ale. We haven't even made our brewery yet. yet. Um, I, I should start working on that after we get the at least one of the churches done. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't really see any other things here that we could basically do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do like two sixty. Negative two sixty four, and that'll give a keep us a uh, hundred carrot seeds. Uh, for beet roots, we can do like negative negative one fifty eight. Just maybe round off all our seeds to that number. We'll probably be getting more later on, so and we'll bring that down to maybe two hundred. So negative. Okay, it doesn't let us do negative right off the bat. That would be nice if they fixed that. <laughs> Let's do maybe like negative four hundred. That's $120 worth. We haven't planted our apple. All right, so we got quite a bit of stuff done today. We got that church planned out um, slowly in development. There's some parts uh, not added yet because I need to get up to the 
parts here to build these parts so we'll be putting the roofs in last on these sections and i probably will need to build um some sort of scaffolding to get over to the uh brick part i'm not sure just yet we might but we i'm just leaving it open for the moment so we can do that if we need to that way we don't waste uh valuable bricks on um roofing and then having to go back and do that but uh it's gonna have a steeple like the other one but it's pretty much a beefed out version of what we had before um i'm gonna remove this whole um what do you call it the pathway here you don't really need it there and it's kind of in the way for what we need for the building and stuff like that so um I figure that will be fine to leave it that close to the other one. We'll just make this into one actual block and then put some trees and stuff on this side. I think that's the idea at least. Um, still wondering about the trees, if they'll be growing fine that close to the structure. We might be able to put them maybe on the second one there. That might give them enough spot to actually grow. But yeah, outside of that, it's uh, come along well though. Um, what else do we do? We got that uh, ransom paid. We do have barley again, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, pretty sure we have full stockpile now. Uh, we actually need more storage for that because um, if we want to start trading with other factions and stuff, we probably want to make sure that during the winter and stuff, we can actually transport a couple extra additional ones to other locations. So we're going to need to find some sort of um, additional storage, I think, for barley and stuff, which shouldn't be too hard. We have a lot of um, places built around here. We, ha we can start filling this in with uh, barley shelves or something like that. So we'll maybe do that on next episode once there's some stuff. I did tell them to remove some of these. Uh, because we don't, we don't need them at the paths anymore for the limestone, but <laughs> they keep piling them there. I keep missing the the storage spots too, so because they were empty at one point. So hopefully that will help. Anyhow, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I have a Discord server, so if you want to hang out uh, with the rest of the community and stuff, definitely hang. Uh, links in the description. Thanks for watching. Peace out.